This item, perhaps more than any other, conjures images of red carpets, old film cameras, A-list actors, and more. Unfortunately though, what slates are actually used for is a little less glamorous, even if they are one of the most important items on a film set. On this episode of 120 Seconds, I'm gonna show you what slates are for and how to properly use them. First, we need to make sure that you understand what dual system sound is. For this video, I'm using single system sound, which means that the camera is recording both the video and the audio that I intend to use in the final edit. With single system, the audio is already part of the video track when I start editing. Dual system sound is the process of recording the audio separate from the video using some sort of external recording device. Naturally, this means we're gonna have to sync up our audio and our video in post. This is why you'll need one of these. The most basic function of a slate is to provide the editor with a visual reference so that he can sync up the audio and the video tracks. All the editor has to do is find the clap in both the audio and the video and match them up. The slate can also give the editor, or more likely the assistant editor on larger productions, important information about each shot. Some slates are laid out differently than this one, but almost all of them contain each of these fields. First is the roll field. This was originally used on film productions to note which roll of film they were using. I personally like to use this field to note which SD card I'm using. This way, if I find problems with my footage, I can trace it back to which SD card might be defective. Next are spaces to mark which scene and take you're shooting. Below that is a space for the name of your production. Below that is the director's name and then the camera operator's name. Next is the camera number or model and then the frame rate. Next to that is the date and then spots to note whether it was an interior or an exterior shot and whether it was shot in day or night. Next to that is MOS, which means a shot for which you did not record sound. Sync next to MOS means the opposite, that sound is being recorded and that the editor needs to sync it up in post. It's standard procedure to hold the slate like this for MOS takes. That way the editor knows not to look for an audio track for that shot. You can also use gaff tape on your slate to keep it clean from any ink smudges. Lastly, it's a good idea to attach your slate marker to the back using a small strip of Velcro so that you don't misplace it on set. Thanks for watching! If you're interested in a career in film, audio production, animation, acting, makeup, and more, you should check out MediaTek Institute. They offer exciting programs in these fields and are an excellent launching pad for your career. Click on the link to the left or in the description to learn more and be sure to subscribe for more videos.